Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews, where we've got so many pins, they're just all rolling all over the place. It's a problem, right? You have pins like this that don't have any sort of a clip or a roll stop. This is the Wankai Mini, great little eyedropper pin, or this Eye of Sauron from uh, Birmingham Pins, the 6th Avenue pin. Wonderful, wonderful pins, both of them, but they can have a free spirit. So what do we do when our pens decide that they should just go rogue? Well, Brian over at Down the Breather Hole, another fountain pen enthusiast and fellow YouTuber, has come up with this simple and elegant solution. This is his queen-sized pen bed. He also makes a king size, which holds three pens and one that holds a single pen. And it is a simple, low-profile pen bed. Now, why is low profile important? Well, let's set this down for a second and I will tell you. You see our friend back here, Mr. Crab. That's a fun pen holder and it's great for keeping the pen there and out of the way and provides a little bit of a background, right? But the problem is, Mr. Crab here, Mr. Crab gets a little tipsy every now and then. I don't mean to disparage your character there, uh, Mr. Crab. It's just true. He gets a little tipsy and when he does, that pen it goes where it should not go, and I don't need that pen rolling off the desk. It's a very special pen. I don't want any damage to it. So this provides a much more stable place to keep the pen. I'm sorry, Crab. Don't worry. You won't be unemployed, but, but the pen will be changed for one that has a little more droppability. That's all I'm saying. So this pen rest, with its low profile and stable design, it doesn't have this issue at all. So when we put pens like the Birmingham 6th Avenue or the Wankai Mini here, they, they don't have the tippy over, the little tippy problem. See, I'm trying to be careful and not knock it over, but they don't have that problem. It provides a much more stable place for that to be, all while holding the pens in a way that is probably the best way to store your fountain pens, and that is horizontal. No offense, Mr. Banu Penholder, but horizontal is better for most fountain pens. I'll, I'll explain that more later in the review of that Banu. Anyway, uh, very, very simple. I like it. Good design. Well made. Well sanded. He's done a great job on the sanding and on the uh, protective polyurethane coating and all of that good stuff. And so it just makes for a nice, simple place to keep your pins. Now, a couple of more things. When you look closely at the diameter of the actual resting place for your pen in this pen bed, you will notice that it is a nice wide diameter. And that is one of the things that I like best about it. So this Sixth Avenue is a pretty big pen. It might not look it here, but it's a big pen, just like that's a big pen. But maybe to show you even better, here is the Ranga Splendor, which you know is a really big pen. And uh, it fits it very, very well and just provides a great place. I've kept these two pens here on the desk for a week or so, I believe it's been. And it just, it's perfect. It, as far as a great place to keep the pen on the desk, this just works extremely well. But does it only hold great big pens? No. Let me show you a few of the pens that all found this to be the perfect little spot to take a rest. All right. Thanks again, Brian, for sharing this with all the good people who show up here at JG3 Reviews. And if you're interested, the link to his Etsy store is in the description below. God bless you all. Have a great week. See you in the next video.